142 years of history, full suicide, murder, and torture. Eastern State Penitentiary housed thousands of hardened criminals under the system of solitary confinement. Over the years, the prisoners would endure hell and earth, thus making it easier for their troubled souls to haunt the abandoned halls. Let's take a deep dive into the dark history of what's dubbed to be one of the world's most haunted places, Eastern State Penitentiary. Opening in October of 1829, Eastern State was considered the world's first true penitentiary. The voluntary system of incarceration was created and it was known as the Pennsylvania system. This system made it that each prisoner was separately confined and many believed this would help the rehabilitation process much more. Every day, by law, the warden was legally required to visit them and the overseers were mandated to see them at least three times a day. At the time in the United States, there were two main prison systems used. The first one was the Pennsylvania system, and the next was the Auburn system. The Auburn system forced prisoners to work together in silence, while the Pennsylvania system was full solitary confinement with no interaction with anyone else. In the end, the radio floor plan for the prison was copied and applied to 300 prisons worldwide, but the Auburn system still ended up being heavily favored. The first design for the inmate cell proved to be very impractical because of the space and how they fit into the cell. So during mid-construction, the cells were built so it was practical and it filtered out all sound. During the designing process, the halls were designed to feel like a church, which will make sense for the next part. When entering the cell, the inmates were forced to bow down because of the small doors. This is related to the last point to the penance and the ties to the religious design of the field in the prison. Going with the theme of the religious build and architecture, the small cells also had a single glass skylight, which represented the eye of God, and it suggested the inmates knew God was always watching them. Inmates could exercise and even have pets outside the cell, but during this time it was planned that no two inmates would ever cross paths at the same time. Anyone outside their cell always had to be accompanied by a guard, and they had to be transported with a hood to hide the identity of the person, and so no two inmates would ever see each other. All cells included a faucet with running water, heated pipes during the winter, and a Bible, thus the religious aspect of the building. For the time, it was actually really advanced compared to other prisons, but in the end, you'll see that Life wasn't the best inside this prison. Originally, the building was supposed to have seven one-story cell blocks, but due to overcrowding, it eventually reached 15 total cell blocks. Cell 15 was designed by the prisoners, and only the worst of the worst were put there. While the prison was open, two major events that stood out were first in 1924, when the Pennsylvania governor sentenced his own dog, Pep the cat murdering dog, to a life sentence for killing his wife's cat. And you might think I'm joking, but the dog was assigned MA number C2559, and this can be seen in the mugshot. And the only major escape attempt took place on April 3rd, 1945. Twelve inmates, including the infamous Willie Sutton, dug a 97-foot tunnel under the prison wall, and it was later discovered that there was an additional 30 tunnels under the structure, but they weren't completed. Shortly before the closure of the prison in 1971, it was actually designated a National Historical Landmark, but like other abandoned places I've covered on the channel, after the closure, the area actually had several proposals to renovate, but eventually they all fell through. Some of the rumored proposals included a mall and a luxury apartment complex that were surrounded by the old walls of the prison. Now looking back at it, that would be pretty cool. It would be covered up, you know, around you, you have old, you know, decaying walls, and, you know, have like a mall around that or maybe an apartment complex. The aesthetic would be very cool for that. 
Eastern State sat abandoned until 1994, when it eventually opened to the public for history tours. But Eastern State also has a dark history among the inmates and the many, many stories of punishment and much more. Let's dive deep into those. Being a prisoner of Eastern State was considered to be hell on earth. And if you broke the rules, God bless your soul. The first of many terrible punishments at the prison was the iron gag. This was easily the deadliest punishment at the building because it was an iron collar clamped to your tongue. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part was the collar was attached to your wrist behind your back. And if you moved it all, it caused massive blood loss from the tongue from the scraping and scrapping on your tongue. That's just the beginning of the punishments. Next, there was the water bath. Some of the prisoners were dunked in a cold bath and then hung on the wall till the next morning or even longer. And just imagine that during the winter months, you would have a layer of ice frozen on your body for hours on end and there was no food or water to have. Just absolutely torturous. And the most infamous punishment had to be the hole. Under cell block 14, there was a hole in the ground where troublesome inmates would be locked in for weeks without any light, barely any airflow, and, like I said, barely any food or water. Just imagine being thrown in a hole for weeks, covered in dirt, and no communication to the outside world at all, and you probably would starve to death and go insane. Now onto the haunted rumors. Being featured on four different ghost shows over the years and being visited by hundreds of paranormal researchers every year, Eastern State is dubbed one of the world's most haunted locations. Many believe the torture the prisoners endured over the years is now the cause of many paranormal experiences. And let's dive into those. The first story is the most famous story, and it is one of the 140-year-old lock. While the restoration was in progress for Eastern State, a locksmith was removing a 140-year-old lock in cell 4 when suddenly an overwhelming force overcame him. The force the man described was so huge he was unable to move, and after the lock was removed, the man experienced an out-of-body state as he felt tons of negative energy around him. Experts believe that as he removed the key, it opened a gateway to the horrific past and the spirits burst out. Years later, the locksmith was still shook talking about the events as he shuddered in fear when speaking on the experience. Number two. During the tour guides, many guests reported whispering and weeping in restricted cell number 12 and laughter from cell 6. Another story from cell 4 is they've seen many shadows and ghosts and faces on the walls from the 140-year-old lock. While filming for Ghostbusters in the Catwalk area, the team captured a shadow figure on tape, and they also captured strong EVP readings and also felt quick temperature changes, very common in paranormal experiences that they have captured. Like I said, Eastern State has become a popular spot for ghost hunters over the years. Taking into advantage of the eerie surroundings and the ghost stories and the rumors, Eastern State has actually opened up terror behind the walls. This is very exciting for me because I love haunted houses. After the official closure of the building and was converted to a museum for tours and things, the Halloween season, they actually offer six haunted attractions of the prison. These six attractions include Quarantine 40, Flat walls appear to have depth. Creatures emerge from seemingly nowhere, and you might be challenged to face your worst fears. Inside the machine shop, hidden deep inside the cell blocks, is a long-forgotten machine shop. Evil pervades the space, and evil with one mind, but many bodies. Next, we have lockdown. Rioting zombies have taken over, and the guards have lost control. The tables have turned on you. We have breakout. Zombies surround you in every way to escape. And you better watch out because they might be using you in their attempt to gain freedom. 
Infirmary takes your fear of hospitals to a new level. A very scary level. And Bloodyard lies in the ruins of the prison compound. And you're led into the Forgotten, who now reside among the fragments of the lost prison. If you want to learn anything more about these haunted attractions, you can go to terrorbehindthewalls.com. You can watch some preview videos or anything of that matter. But if you're a true paranormal seeker, you can buy the Dark VIP Tour. And this tour is an hour-long guided tour. And you just have flashlights and you learn the history, like I just told you, the building. Probably a lot more in-depth. But you get to enjoy first-line access to the haunted houses. And you can go to the Speakeasy, which is kind of like a bar where Al Capone's cell actually was. BC stayed there for eight months on a gun charge. And that is the video. That is Eastern State Penitentiary. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I know I haven't posted in a while, but now I will be posting daily. Or not daily, probably every once a week. But I know it's a hard time for everyone out there with the Bud Light virus going around. So I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. But I'm hopefully you guys like this video. And if you want more haunted videos, more abandoned videos, comment down below some places. And I will get that for you guys ready. So thank you guys very much. This is Wild Owl Productions out. Have a great day. And of course, stay healthy and safe.